Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I'm all the way here in New York to watch something amazing. It is the unveiling and the reveal of the all new Cadillac Escalade IQ, which is a fully electric vehicle. And you guys know I love full-size SUV. And you know what? The EV is the future. So we're super excited to be here. And I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna show you the venue. And of course, the SUV that could define the moment and define the future. So follow me and I'll show you around. So here it is, the all-new Cadillac Escalade IQ, a full electric Escalade-sized vehicle unveiled here in New York. It's pretty exciting. I think it's um, a big news for General Motors because of the fact um, it has a very important place in this uh, segment because Escalade has such a huge market share and now it is trying to do the same thing in the EV market with uh, a nameplate Escalade. Really interesting way to launch this vehicle. We had the entire General Motors executive, including the president that you can see right here, uh, launch the product. He's a little busy right now, so I'm not gonna go bother him. And then we have the chief engineer also out in here as well. But let me go back and see if I can show you the vehicle, if I can get around this vehicle. I'm trying to do this kind of live stream style. It's pretty noisy, I hope you can still hear me but um, the fact that you can charge uh, very quickly and give you maximum range is also very interesting. It is 450 miles of range, uh, which is phenomenal. And you know what, it's got the classic Cadillac design, but with the unique touches of the new Cadillac signature design, which is the fact that these lights up at night when you start up the uh, vehicle. And uh, it's huge. Now we can't go inside the uh, vehicle, but we can film from the outside and show you what it is. It's got a immersive design, beautiful, beautiful design. Look at all the details of the stitching here. And uh, you know me, I like to check the quality of the manufacturing. And this is a prototype, obviously, but but the stitching looks really good. All the stitching lines up here, and the quality of the plastic and the materials looks really good as well. Beautiful interior. There is a seat behind here, which you can see just briefly. And then, of course, the most important part is the front of the vehicle, which has a 55-inch screen, has a 35-inch and a 20-inch screen lined up together to give you the 55-inch curvature. Of course, the interior is the most important part of this vehicle because the comfort, refinement, and smoothness is the signature theme for something like Escalade. I've driven many Escalades over the year, and I have to admit, even the gas-powered Escalade is pretty special. Uh, but this one, being a fully electric one, could redefine what's happening in the industry. Okay, so let's scratch and see if we can move into here. Even the Akadek logo right here. So this is 55 inches wide, 35 inches up to about here, and then 20 inches here for the passenger side. And look at this interesting texture. This is kind of like a stone finish, but not quite. I don't know how to describe it, almost like a cross between a wood and a stone. I have to ask a little bit more about exactly what they were trying to portray. And once again, even for a prototype, look at the, um, the actual uh, manufacturing quality, the fit and finish. Looks fantastic. Look, everything lines up. This all lines up. For prototype, this is a phenomenal quality. And you still get one more screen here, which I think is to um, navigate through some of the main functions. And the seats look great, as I mentioned. You get speakers in the headrest, just like other Cadillacs. And I really like this cross design this way. And also there is a place to store underneath here with a, a Cadillac um, logo there as well. Beautiful interior, Alcantara uh, material on the front. And then there's overhead console looks beautiful. Let's step out so I can get other people to hop in. It's uh, people, lots of people waiting. I'm tempted to do my usual quality check on the exterior. And it's a prototype, so it wouldn't be fair, but you know what? Just looking at it right now in terms of the actual gaps, well, this is as perfect as you can get. I guess because it's handmade, so obviously they did everything that they can to make it fit perfect. But look at that, that gap, the alignment. Look at how this lines up here. Perfect alignment. 
Usually they don't get this part right, but even here, the uh, actual corner, perfectly aligned. All the plastic parts look really, really well made, high quality, although it is glossy and it can get scratched up. Beautiful color as well, this kind of silverish uh, color that seems to change the, the actual uh, color when you look at it from different angles. Oh, someone just opened the hood because now we can look at the front um, e-trunk, they call it, which is the front uh, frunk. So someone, that's great. I think they said 12 cubic feet in the front. Oh, what's interesting, it's really long this way. Not so much wider, but it's very long. A little bit shallow maybe, but uh, yeah, you can definitely fit two suitcases in there, or golf, uh, golf bags. That's actually pretty good. Looks really usable. Some um, electric uh, car companies have abandoned being able to offer this, like Mercedes, so I'm really glad that uh, Cadillac and GM didn't do that. Look at the size of that hood. Again, the quality of the manufacturing looks really good because uh, right now it's a prototype, but all the material looks really well made. Here, see the quality. Look at the uh, actual fit here, it fits perfectly, lines up, and paint job looks fantastic. Hand built probably because it's a prototype. And let me continue to walk around here. There's so many people here that hard to get into the details. I've shown you guys the rear seating. Let me try to see if I can show you some more from a different angle. See the cool texture on the door that I believe also lights up here. Lots of glossy black here though. That could be a bit tricky to keep it uh, clean, but uh, even the um, the speaker system here, which is uh, AKG, they, they said that they made sure that the design of the grill looks like a real design, not just a speaker grill. So they integrated integrated that into the design. And yeah, let me see if I can show you the back seat. Hard to show you the back seat here. So you can't see too much, but being Escalade, it should be plenty of space there as well. And you get two cup holders with a beautiful design over here. Another screen and another floating design here as well. So it looks really good. Let's step aside and look at the trunk here. They've opened the trunk. Actually, that's pretty good. So you can see, I don't know how, that's about two and a half feet this way maybe. And uh, someone is opening the... No, I'm not. Oh, oh you're not opening it? You can't open it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't open, okay. But it's supposed to open probably in the production version. But you get pretty decent space. Some uh, three-row SUV has really poor uh, rear um, cargo area behind the third seat. But this one is actually pretty good. I think that's one of the a big complaints about three-row SUV is that you sacrifice the trunk space. But not on this one, all right? Other YouTubers that you recognize are also around here. Lots of people here. So, what do you guys think of new Escalade? I wish that um, Lexus would introduce something like this, a large three-row SUV in a fully electric or at least a plug-in hybrid, but that's not going to come for a while. So, it looks like American brands are truly uh, leading ahead in terms of being bold enough to introduce something that uh, other manufacturers are taking too much time. And I think that's where the battle will begin. I know that Toyota will have, Toyota and Lexus will have, I'm sure, something to compete with with this down the road. I know they will introduce a three-row electric vehicle sometime later in this uh, decade, but GM already has one ready to go. As you know, it shares this platform with other GM electric vehicles. So it's a proven, uh, proven uh, architecture and proven engineering. But it does have that presence. It does look like uh, Escalade. And also the um, wheels, by the way. This is a 24 inch wheels and tires. They say it's the first time they're offering this. It's a 275 50 24. This one is a Michelin Primacy tire, which is more like a, a luxury street tires. It's just absolutely massive. 
uh, from an engineer's perspective, there isn't a huge advantage to have larger wheels just because you get a really narrow profile and you end up compromising compromising the um, ride. So I'm not a big fan of really large wheels, but obviously it looks great in this Escalade. So here I am in New York. It's an uh, unveiling and reveal of the Escalade IQ. It's a big deal that they flew a bunch of us all the way to New York just to show us the vehicle. We won't be able to get to drive it for quite a while still because we're pretty far away from the actual driving impressions. Hopefully later this year we'll get to drive it. And I am a huge fan of large SUVs as you guys know. And GM does a really good job of creating and designing, engineering and delivering something that people do enjoy. Because GM has such a large um, followers in terms of these large SUVs. So it's pretty excited. Hopefully you guys will can hear me okay and see me okay. Let me just show you the venue quickly, then I'll sign off for a second. But let me first show you where we are in New York. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just sneaking behind all these executives that are here. And yeah, a really cool place. They obviously rented this whole venue here just for the Escalade reveal. It's a pretty big place. Uh, now they pull up all the curtains, so it feels different from earlier when it was dark. Really, really cool way to launch a product. So, what do you guys think of the Escalade IQ as a fully electric SUV with 450 miles of range? Cool design. We don't know about the pricing or any of those details yet, but those will come shortly. Very excited to see this and more, uh, more SUVs beginning to take shape in the form of our EVs because that's where the future is going so let me know if you have any questions or comments and hopefully I can respond to some of your comments well I'm here in New York for another day heading back soon and I'll catch up with you guys very soon I'm really honored to be here in the on the Escalade IQ launch tell me a little bit more about how excited you guys are we're very excited you know this um the design of this truck is is really special. Um, it's got a longer wheelbase than the uh, internal combustion engine version, but it's also got more storage space because of you know the, the the front of the car has no engine, obviously. So we've got a big space, big uh, space there. They've got six, big space in the in the rear, but also I would say we've taken the design language from Cadillac to a very new place with a very clean upscale, very modern design, right. both interior and exterior, and. It's something you know. It's it's a it's an iconic truck, but you know this is a truck that goes zero to sixty under under five seconds. Okay. It's yeah. four wheel steer. It's got air ride. Um, it's just a beautiful truck to, to drive. And this is going to be one of your most important SUVs for the future, I guess. Whether you guys all move to EV market, it, it really yeah. is. It's our first um, EV SUV, if you will, right. and it's our most iconic with Escalade. So very important for Cadillac as we take Cadillac to the standard of the world. And you know this one, you know, we took an icon and and reimagined the icon. Right. So this is going to be a plus business for us. We think we know uh, versus you know the Ice Escalade, which is yeah. hugely successful and popular. But this will be added business for us. So we're excited. Yeah. Okay, super. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, everyone. I'm here with a very important person who is responsible for the Escalade IQ. I'm David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah. you, Mandy Damon. I know that as a chief uh, engineer, you have a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. What were some of the most important things you had to accomplish or change based on this new model? Yeah, I mean, I think the greatest change that everybody notices is just the styling and that mm. expressive roof line. And when we did that, it was actually a big enabler from an aerodynamics perspective. That was something, you know, with our eye on the 450 miles of EV range, we knew we wanted to hit, we knew Arrow was one of the paths to get there. Right. And so there's details all over the vehicle that we had to continue to focus on and bring ourselves back to. In addition to the fact that this is an Escalade and that's right. a nameplate yeah. that has so much brand equity, how can we give our customers, mm. very discerning customers, yes. what they expect and love from their Escalade today and then really take it to a next level. Okay. 
Now, because this was developed, I guess, sometime during the pandemic as well, mm -hmm. did you guys have changed the style of product development and engineering during that time? Yeah, a little bit. And, and yeah. we found that as much as we could still come together in person, you know, we talk a lot about design and engineering really working hand in hand to create this masterpiece. Mm -hmm. That was a big enabler, was we kind of got to know each other virtually, but then bringing the team together a couple times a week, having mm -hmm. those hard discussions around how to balance our requirements. I think, you know, that's a, the result of this. Yes. And then since then, this team has been very close knit. There's an incredible okay. team back in mm -hmm. Michigan that's doing everything they can to bring this to life. Right. Um, and I'm just super proud of them. Did you uh, guys, guys get into um, lean product development or agile product development? Is that some of those newer business techniques that we hear about? Yeah, certainly, yeah. especially on our software side, right? Okay. So, you, you know, this vehicle has all the technology, and right. that's something that we're continuing to make sure that we can adapt and just constantly improve. So mm. those methods, mm. for sure. Okay, yeah. super. Thank you so yeah. much. Appreciate right. it. Good Thank luck you. With Thank you. Nice yeah. meeting you. Thank you.